Okay, today on the Mini Brew, I have got a brew kit at long last. Um, so I'm just gonna scan the barcode, follow the simple instructions, follow the app. Um, I'm really looking forward to see how this one's gonna turn out. <laughs> So looking on the Mini Brew website further down, you can see there's lots of uh, brew kits in there. So these are from different breweries like craft beers and breweries all the way across Europe and loads of different styles in there. Um, so you can order these and you get a little kit. It's the exact ingredients from the brewery and you can make their beers, which is a great learning uh, experience for people like me that don't know much of it. So I've ordered five or six of them, some few different styles and some stouts. But every time I go to the post box, it's empty. Um, so that was about a year and a half. I make a few complaints across to Mini Brew. Um, none of these complaints really worked. And then this turned up. Um, so I've already got a refund at this stage. Uh, so I call Mini Brew and I say, look, uh, this has come. And they said, look, check the date on it because it doesn't kind of fit in with their postal um, records. And it turns out it's a bit out of date by about a month. Um, so I looked on the groups, there's various support groups. Lots of people have had uh, brew kits that are a bit out of date. They've brewed with them and said it's absolutely fine. Um, so this is like a free brew. So I'm gonna go for this one and, and just see what happens. Um, first thing to do is run a clean cycle on the Mini Brew base station itself, just to make sure it's all thoroughly clean in there. Um, and then I'm really looking forward to getting on with this uh, Golden Cran or Golden Cran. I, I don't really know how to pronounce that. Um, um, de Gulden Kraan, een blond biertje van 6%. Right? De lekker Golden Kraan from the Netherlands. Right, I'm just going to go with what he said. Um, but here we go. Look, I'm really excited to open up this box. And inside you can see I've got some Safel yeast. Um, I've got the boil ingredients in there. And we've got our bag of grains there. And everything is measured out exactly. So um, no, uh, no measuring scales needed for this one. Um, so I'm just going to get going. So I open that up and it's interesting because uh, now I've brewed a few of my own beers and I know what ingredients I'm putting in and what flavours I'm hoping to get from it. Um, I have no idea of what's in that bag of grain, but I'll just wet it up anyway. It's a nice flaky golden colour. I do like the look of it. Um, so we're going to put that into the mash tun and that's all ready to go. Just sitting waiting for me. Now, the app is great. It really brings you through step by step, tells you exactly what to do, exactly what not to do. Um, and you follow that um, letter by letter. You just press the app and it just tells you exactly what to do next. Um, so here I've got my boil ingredients. So these will be the hops and there's six different types of hops. Well, there's six bags. It could be the same hop in each bag for all I know. I just have no idea what kind of hops. So therefore, it's, it's interesting. It takes all the thinking out of brewing. Um, but you want to do a bit of thinking to know kind of what flavours you're getting from different ingredients and how that affects your overall beer. So um, it's good. I'll put the, uh, the discs into the, the hot carousel there and put the, the, this is like beer brewing by numbers. You just put the right uh, little bag in the right numbered hole and the machine does everything else for you. So put the lid on the mash tun then and we're ready to go, ready to start brewing. First thing I need to do is do a little boil on that keg. That's got two litres of water in there just to do a little boil process. And once that's over with, uh, the app clicks you onto the next bit and I can put in my brewing water. So that's about six and a half litres going in there for this particular one. Now pop that little uh, net in there. That will stop anything from dropping through. Uh, it will it will catch the the hop discs and the little hop bags and any bits of grain that come through there. So the app is bringing me through every part of the process. This one is telling me um, just to make sure that everything is completely clean and sterile and to take the lid off the, um, the, the mash tun off the top of the mini brew and put the lid onto it straight away just to keep everything nice and clean and it's all um, sanitized. Um, and this little net comes out and you see it's captured the little bags of hops so it's full of flavor in there just dripping through. Um, and it's also got the little discs and the bits of grain that come through. So 
So that, at the end of it, I just run a little clean cycle on the machine. So clean cycle every time before you start and after you finish with it. Uh, and then the machine is telling me exactly the app is telling me um, what to do next. So it's to get everything sanitized, um, to get the scrub container, uh, get that ready so I can put CO2 gas in that just before I clip that back on and pop that underneath and to get the yeast ready as well. Now, somebody uh, said in the comments on a previous video that I should pitch that yeast uh, into water before. Um, so I wasn't sure what to do. I did a bit of research on it. Um, I went to various different places, different people telling me different things, but I went to the Safal website and they said uh, pitch it directly into the brewing vessel. So that's what I'm gonna do. And you just let that float on the top of the water and gradually sink down. Um, and I will give that a little swirly shake a few times just to make sure it's thoroughly mixed in there. But if you've got uh, any advice on that, do leave me a comment down below. I'd leave to know um, kind of what the consensus is and what I should be doing. So the thrub container has gone on there onto the base of it. Um, and the last thing is this uh, little device here to let the CO2 escape out of the top um, during these initial phases. The Met Office today have issued a red extreme heat warning for Monday and Tuesday. This is an unprecedented warning for an unprecedented heat wave that's likely to smash the UK temperature record. So this temperature is off the scale. I can't get that down to five degrees. So I'm looking at the machine and there's a lot of dust uh, on the intake of the fan. So I think I need to give that a clean. Maybe it might make all the difference. We're getting a bit more air in there. Um, so I've got an air blower and I'm just taking the back off of that and blowing it out as best I can. Uh, it doesn't really seem, to, the air duster doesn't seem to really touch it. So um, I'm finding wiping with a cloth is the best thing to do. And actually a little paintbrush um, is the best idea of all. Um, and it should clear that out. But I still, with that machine back on again, I can only get nine degrees out of it. So I was looking in the groups, the support groups that there are. And some people are saying, look, that throb container on the base has got no insulation at all around it. And you'll see it's dripping away with condensation. Um, so I'm going to try and do a little invention here with a block of insulation that I've got, a little leftover block. And I love messing around building little things like this. Um, so let's hope for the best and see if this works. So I'm going to pop that over the top and hopefully that insulates it a little bit. And best of all, it might stop them drips of condensation, which are coming down uh, and ruining my work surface. I'm also going to add some, some damp tea towels because that's uh, a well-known way of keeping uh, beer cakes down by a couple of degrees. But no matter what I tree, try, I just can't get that temperature down. Um, now we're at 10 degrees, target is five degrees. Um, it's just this intense heat is too much. So it's time to empty that drug container and we're going to go through the same process. Um, just sanitizing everything, CO2 gas in there again. Um, but I'm a bit worried because I'm going away for a few days and I don't want to leave that in this kind of heat working away like that. So I'm going to try and transfer it to a little keg. I've got a four litre keg there. So I've thoroughly cleaned that keg inside and out. I'm going to uh, purge that with CO2 gas to make sure it's full of CO2 in the first place. Uh, and then I'm going to attach a hose between the two, bring the CO2 over to the mini keg and put the pressure on just to transfer that from one to the other. And that just whizzed across in there really quickly. And I can put that in that fridge at five degrees. I bought that keg especially to fit that fridge. No other one would. And I've got a little bit left over. So I'm going to try bottling as well. So I'm just going to bottle them uh, and add a little drop, a little um, specialist brewing sugar drop to each bottle. And this is my first time at bottling. So it's just a little experiment really and I'm going to leave them at room temperature for two weeks. So here we go. Uh, I've had to wait a long time for this one. 25 days, I think, is a long time to wait for a beer. Um, but that's coming out nice. I'm quite impressed with that. That looks good. Nice white foamy head on it. Now, it doesn't smell, doesn't smell of an awful lot, really, to be honest with you. 
that's quite pleasant. That's quite pleasant on the taste. Um, again, pretty bland, not too hoppy. Um, so I suspect I've not done the original Golden Crown uh, any justice, and it's impossible for me to know what that would have tasted like, but just remembering my brew kit was slightly out of date, and I really struggled to get that down to temperature um, in this heat before I put it into that cake there. But all in all, um, that's pr pretty nice beer. Um, I think these, these kits are pretty handy. So um, if you think, if you know nothing about brewing and you can scan a barcode um, and then just follow simple instructions and brew some home beer, uh, that's pretty awesome. So I'm happy with that. So for now, cheers. Mm.